our final topic of the day, if I can find it. We're going to talk Batman because it comes out in one week. And I don't know if you guys have been have seen this or not, but Boss Logic just did a poster for it yesterday. I think it's pretty sweet. And it might be on the screen now. This yeah. is the poster that's coming with. This is my mm-hmm. favorite poster for this movie. I've got to tell you, the posters I haven't been too, too crazy about going into it. But this one I love. I love you get the Riddler, you get, uh, you get Catwoman, you get it all. Steve, what do you think of the poster? And are you ready to watch the Batman for the next three hours of your life? <laughs> That's my first time seeing the poster, to be honest. Um, looks neat. Looks good. Sorry for my nose. Um, yeah, looks good. Um, I, uh, am I going to see it? Absolutely. Um, when? That, that's, the, that's the question. Because I'm somebody, I always li- I like to go opening night just so I, there's no chance of spoilers. There's no chance uh, of having things ruined for me. So, yeah, yeah looks good. Scotty, what do you make of this poster? Best Batman ever. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just laying it out. Wait, there, let, wait, let, bold, let, bold. wait get, get to the poster first, and then we'll get you, we'll let you hit the controversial stuff. It's, this movie is going to highlight Riddler, and I think Riddler is going to be trying to play all the villains against each other, and they're going to band together, and then we'll get like an official rogues gallery for this Batman. Uh, but I love the setup and how they're just touching on each of these little villains and building up the relationships. And we're seeing a Batman who's not sure of himself already now being tested by someone who's teaching him about himself. It's just a, it's going to be a really good story. I respect Matt Reeves for the passion that he has for this project and how secretive he wants everything to be. It's cool. I think it's funny what you just said because they're all all the things I've been reading and, and listening and hearing in interviews is this isn't a an origin story for Batman, it's an origin story for the villains. It's like, but the villains origin story are gonna create the Batman that we know and love's origin story. I think I think we're gonna get a Batman, but he's not gonna be the Batman. Kind of like with the Spider-Man movies that we just talked about. He wasn't our Spider-Man right away. It took some time to get there. And and that's where I think we are with this Batman movie. I think it's gonna be I I, I think this movie is going to get nominated for Best Picture next year is what I'm going to think. Visuals. Uh, it's going to get nominated for cinematography. By the way, if you guys don't know, Batman Forever was nominated for Best Cinematography at the Academy Awards. <laughs> and I believe I, it actually it was. And I believe I think this one's going to. It looks phenomenal. Mm-hmm. looks absolutely breathtaking. That being said, the performances. Heath Ledger won an Oscar for playing the Joker and Joaquin Phoenix won an Oscar for playing the Joker. <laughs> The Joker may or may not be in this movie. I will tell you that I did get an email that is not on this show from someone who was able to see it last week in California. They watched it. Uh, they wouldn't give me any spoilers because I they saw this. I guess, they saw your face. <laughs> they saw the movie The Batman. They're not oh, allowed to talk oh. about it until the end of the month. They can't talk about it until the end of the month, but they did say they saw it. And uh, it was very, it was, yeah, they liked it is what I'll say. They didn't give me any spoilers, so don't. <laughs> Like I, I, said, want, I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want it either. There's no spoilers. <laughs> I, they, 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 I do, they but I no don't. Spoilers. It's so close now. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, but eventually, they, you just go they, black, blacklist everything. Yeah, <laughs> they left it. They left it off uh, by just saying, "And the Joker, ha ha ha." That's how mm. the email ended. So mm. is the Joker in it? Is the Joker not in it? I'm going to be honest with you. All signs are pointing towards the Joker being in this movie, but I do not know. Not, mm-hmm. not as a main character, but I think what you're saying, Scotty, is, is the most interesting part is that at the, that the rogues gallery will be created through the Riddler towards the end of this movie. I really mm-hmm. I really love that. I love that there's a rogue gallery of Batman villains. And it's not just, this is the villain today. This is the villain tomorrow. This is These are the villains, and they'll offshoot into their own stuff, but they are all in all. But controversy aside, this is a three-hour movie. Clips are being released daily. Everyone's the best Batman. Everyone's favorite Batman, depending on your age, is either Keaton or Bale. Affleck is squeezing in there, but I think he still there still needs to be like time to go by before he becomes anyone's actual favorite. I think he might be mine though so far. But uh, let's get controversial here, Scotty. All right, all right. <laughs> So we're talking Star Wars then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do hot takes on the Batman. 
hot take on the Batman. Do you, okay, well, we're getting into. I want to get to your point on Robert Pattinson being possibly, in your opinion, the best Batman. Yeah, dude, I think people are so stuck in the Twilight era, and it's like he's not even a fan of those movies himself. He said it. He says it every damn time it gets brought up. So, uh, no, it won't be twinkly. It won't be twinkly vampire Batman. It's gonna be an actor who is rewarded has like. The list of things he's done outside of Twilight are underrated, in my opinion. Uh, the Good Good Son or something like that is one of my favorite movies he's been in. His the brother Good Son is, is actually with uh, it, that's Macaulay Culkin and Elijah. Oh, Warren. you're right, you're right. This is like uh, <laughs> Good Brother, the Good Brother, or something. Anyway, like he just has depth, and I think we'll be able to see it with this Batman character. Uh, I love the suit and the fact that the gun yeah. is the logo. Like that alone tells me enough, tells me what I need to know about this, Bruce. I, I think I thought uh, Pattinson was fantastic in the light, the lighthouse. If you haven't seen the lighthouse, he's great. In that. I haven't seen that. And he, it's uh it's, it's an interesting movie. It's a, you mm. might not be able to get the, he's fantastic. Him and Willem mm. Dafoe are the only two people in it really for the most part. And they are, they go back and forth pretty heavy and he's pretty, he's pretty, he's good. He's really good in uh, devil all the time as well. Uh, Steve, do you think there's a chance that bad and sin will be nominated for best actor at the Academy Awards? I couldn't tell you. Cause I, I'm honest here. I've never seen a movie with him in it. I've never seen him act. So I'm going in for a completely clean slate on him. So okay. yeah, that's cool. So actually, that'll, that, 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 that'll be my, uh, my way to tell. <laughs> Ask me in a week. All right, here we go. You know what? I, I got to tell you guys, I read the prequel novel. It's like 80 pages, 100 pages mm-hmm. on that. I did read the prequel novel, and he has that black eyeshadow on his eyes. They give that an explanation in it. They kind of go into the origins of the Batmobile in it. They, the, the Riddler was featured heavily in it. Penguin is mentioned in it, as is Falcone. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was a... Uh, it's it's a it's like a, a kids it's like a kids book. It took me like forty minutes to read. It's it's a real it's it's a good read. It's it it was the if it's weird because this movie is definitely not a kids movie. But this is like mm-hmm. a book that when I was in like grade five, I would be excited to read this book before I saw the Batman movie. You know, it's kind of, it so strange like that. But it gives you insight into it. It tells you more about Wayne Manor, which is not going to be where Batman or Bruce Wayne lives in this movie whatsoever. Alfred uh, teaches him. Uh, Alfred is a British intelligence officer, former British intelligence officer, and he teaches him ninjutsu, and he calls it Bruce Jitsu. But they keep Bruce Wayne traveling throughout the entire. Like he travels in his twenties. The book takes place from I think when he's ten to like late twenties. Like this oh, big dang, time so gap. Give it all. Yeah. Oh, I like it's small well. Do they case. talk about like, the death of his parents or no? No, they're just dead. Okay. It's like you know they you know they're dead, and it starts mm-hmm. off in Wayne Manor, and Thomas Wayne is running for mayor, at the time is how this book starts. Yep. and then and then a kid looks at Bruce, and Bruce smiles at the kid, and the kid does not smile back at Bruce, and that picture is in a trailer or a clip from the movie, and that's Edward Nashton, the Riddler as a kid who is an orphan, mm-hmm. and you find out he's an orphan. and uh, you know, there's all he, a connection. Yeah, yeah, and he lives in Wayne Manor, and he actually, I don't know, Scott, if you're going to read it, you might want to mute me for a second. But No, you're good, he, man. Full he send. he burns down Wayne Manor as much as he can before things in there. But the, 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 the curious part, guys, is he burns down Wayne Manor, but he pulls the fire alarm before he sets it on fire so that all the kids get out safe. He doesn't want to kill the kids. He's I, he, he wants to go out. Wayne there, Manor's think, an orphanage. Yeah, so they convert oh. Wayne Manor into an orphanage, and they live in Wayne Tower. So in the movie, they're going to live in in this tower called Wayne Tower. And uh, yeah, and he burns so, down the orphanage. In the trailer, they show. Yeah, it happens. They show it. <laughs> so I really think that like Alfred is, or is it's not Alfred with him; it's the commissioner. So the commissioner and Batman are both walking through Wayne Manor, like burnt, whatever it is. But to me, it looks like that. And there's all the spray paint. And, um, I think he says something like, why did you never tell me about this, Alfred? So there's something underneath Wayne. There is a, 
there is well you learn that the riddler just kind of hates the elitists in there and i think you're going to learn that there's more to it than that and there is a big corrupt underworld in gotham happening and the mm-hmm. riddler is and the riddler is trying to expose it and to expose it he needs to expose the batman because the batman is protecting the city but also in doing that he's protecting the corruptness of the city at the same time there's yeah. going to be a lot going on there's going to be a lot of corrupt police officers awesome. It's going to be a great time. And I think that's what's going to make this HBO Max show all the more exciting. Uh, but if you can get your hands on that book, like I said, it's really quick read. It's like 10 minutes, like bam, bam, bam. You're in, you're out. But it felt like a good segue into the, the movie. It doesn't end right before the movie ends, but it actually ends uh, with the phrase, I am uh, the shadows. I am, I am shadows. I am vengeance. I am Batman. That is the last, the last few words of the book, and that's in the trailer to his vengeance. So, there you go. But anyway, the, the eye shadow is in there, and because he's not Batman, but he is a vigilante for a little bit, and he puts the eye, eye gook all on his eyes just to kind of like, and he wears a cap just trying to like hide his face, hide his eyes, so people won't recognize him because he hates being Bruce Wayne, and he hates that people recognize him as, as Bruce Wayne. Wow. So okay. that's. Yeah, that's that. So you guys can sleep on that. We're going to wrap it up. We went over time today. I don't know if anyone has noodles boiling today, but it was a lot of fun. I will let you guys go. Thanks for joining me. Uh, before we leave, though, Scotty, you want to uh, plug your YouTube channel and tell everybody where to find you? Yeah, man, it's Hawks Holocrons. Pretty sure it comes up in search now. I've been doing this for a while. Uh, I just got Starlink as well. So I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of streaming. Some gaming streaming, uh, some solo talking about Star Wars theory mainly. So, yeah, definitely come check me out. I think I'm pretty close to 200. So, goals, you know, let's get them to 200. 